Hi everyone! In today's video I'll be revealing my latest luxury designer purchases. So I have something that I picked up from the outlet village that I went to. Then of course I'll be unboxing the goodies that I got at Chanel. And I also have something that I got from Celine and Louis Vuitton. So let's start. Let's go with Chanel first. So, as soon as I saw the Spring Summer 2022 collection, there were three items that immediately caught my eye. So there was a bag that I was interested in, and no, not the hard bag, even though I think it's beautiful, I kind of fell in love with another bag. Then there was also a swimsuit and a pair of shoes. Unfortunately, my boutique had not received the swimsuit that I wanted in my size just yet. So I'm still on the waiting list for that. And the same story actually goes for the bag as well because they have not received it yet. And I've been actually stalking social media. Where's my camellia? As always, it has fallen off. But anyway, I have been stalking social media to see the bag that I'm interested in and I actually have not seen it anywhere. Not in that size and not in the color that I want. But the shoes, the shoes were secured. And there goes the camellia once again. Let me take a sneak peek to see if my essay put them in the dust bags. Yes, he did, okay. So the shoes that I got are these white Chanel sandals. <laughs> or are these slingbacks? Slingback sandals? I don't know, but wow, just look at these. How cool are these slingback sandals or just sandals? So they are white, but they have these black CCs all over them and I just love the vibe of these shoes. They almost feel like a collector's piece because they're just giving me major 90s vibes but yeah I think that these are so 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 cool. I'm sure that you have already seen them on social media. They are very very popular. They come in like three or four different heel heights in many, many different colors, white with black CCs, black with white CCs, then you have baby pink with black CCs, like a purplish pink with black CCs. Also, I think I saw blue and yellow. There are a lot of colors. I got them in the lowest heel available because I know that this way, I'll be able to get the most wear out of these shoes. I simply don't wear high heels very often, so this was definitely the heel height that I immediately fell for. And I think that I'm just gonna have so much fun styling these, but we're gonna get back to that in a second because I have to show you something else that is going to be the perfect match to these shoes. So it's something from Celine and I am so excited for this one because it literally took me I think maybe six or even seven years to find this item. So yeah, let me show it to you. So as you can see, this is a case for sunglasses. So inside we have a pair of sunglasses and these are called the Triumph. Triumph? oval white frame sunglasses from Celine and I know it may seem like it's not a big deal but to me having a white frame pair of sunglasses has been on my wish list for so 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 long but they never look good on me. I tried so many pairs and none of them looked good on me but with this pair I just had a feeling and this is finally a pair of sunglasses with a white frame that I think looks actually flattering on me what do you think 
I think that this is what I was waiting for. I love that they have very minimal branding. It's more like a, if you know, you know kind of thing. So I think that they're going to be very easy to style and match with other brands. The quality is excellent, of course, as it should be for the price. I actually almost never buy sunglasses for a full price because I know that they always go on sale. But with this pair, I feel like I had waited long enough. And another reason why I didn't want to wait was because I got these shoes. I mean, look at this. Isn't this a match made in heaven? And add my white small Chanel classic flap in this combo. I mean, you can wear almost anything and you would still look good with these accessories. I am just obsessed. I'm so, so happy that I have these. I just noticed that there's the camellia stuck on the shoe. But yeah, I think that I'm going to have so much fun styling these. I think that they're so many options on how you could style these. You can have a black outfit with white accents. Then also there's a full denim look. I think that would give it even more 90s vibes to the um, shoes and the sunglasses as well. Or if you don't want to go for a full denim look, you can also go for just denim shorts, denim skirt, denim jeans, and the white top. And then you add these accessories and it's immediately a look. And then I also think that there's a lot of potential with pastel colors. And my favorites, as always, are lilac, baby pink, and pastel yellow. Those are always my favorites and I think that such bright white accents are just going to look incredible with these colors. Okay, and now let's go back to Chanel. And um, this purchase, no comment. Let's just, let's just open it. Okay, so the dust bags are on top of the packaging. So you're going to see them very, very soon. And it is another pair of sandals. Oh, you guys are going to kill me. Okay, here we go. I mean, those who get it, get it. Those who don't, don't. What can I say? I'm a dad sandal stan. I can't help but to love them and I can't help but to want them in every color that exists. Yes, these are the infamous dad sandals in a very interesting color combination. So we have tie-dye, and I think that the color choice is absolutely beautiful. We have um, a bit of green, a bit of yellow, baby blue, baby pink. It's just absolutely beautiful. I just noticed that they also have a bit of lilac, or is it lilac? Is it purple as well? So this is almost like a five-in-one type of dad sandal because it's going to match so many other colors and that's great. Maybe it's going to stop my need of buying more dad sandals because they're just so expensive but the heart wants what it wants so I'm not making any promises. Please don't judge me if you see me next year unboxing another pair of these because I don't think that I don't think I would ever stop, but you know. Okay, moving on, there are two more wish list items that I would like to share with you today. And the next item is from the Saint Laurent outlet. And this is another pair of sunglasses. Let me just quickly show you the bag that they came in. So there is absolutely no branding. It only says Saint Laurent on the sticker over here. But other than that, the bag looks just like this. So this is not a true unboxing because I have actually been wearing these all the time already. And it's the Classic 11, I think they are called. Huge black-on-black -black aviator lens sunglasses. And I 
love these. I actually already have another pair of smaller aviators by Saint Laurent, but I really wanted bigger ones because sometimes with certain like hairdos, I actually prefer a bigger lens and these are just huge. I love it. They cover almost all of my face. So when I'm not feeling the best, this is the pair of sunglasses that I'm definitely going to go for. I had actually had these on my wish list on Farfetch, on Luis Aviaroma. I have been waiting for them to go on sale for such a long time, but I think that because it's a classic pair, I was never able to score them on sale. But at the same time, they're just so simple that I refused to pay a full price for them. And since I already had the other pair that I had gotten on sale, I thought, you know, it's okay, I can wait. And here I was at the outlet, someone else was trying them on they had them brand new so i picked them up i think something like 40 percent off it was it was a good deal so i'm very happy to finally have these if you follow me on instagram you're going to be seeing these a lot <laughs> and finally i have something from louis vuitton and this is another huge huge wish list item that i had also postponed for so long i just wasn't sure if it's actually worth the money but then i felt like you know i just really like it so i'm gonna go for it and coincidentally i snapped it up just before the louis vuitton price increase so here we go here is the dust bag and it's the Louis Vuitton makeup case in the GM size. I mean, this is nothing very, you know, spectacular. But to me, Louis Vuitton monogram makeup cases are just timeless. I think that they are so, so beautiful. I'm sure that you have all seen it many, many times, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. It's very simple. It has three pockets slash compartments on the inside, one that is bigger, one smaller, and then one that is suitable for something like lipstick. So yeah, the zipper is very nice. And I'm just very happy to finally have this so that's it for my video today guys i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it useful if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i do love talking about fashion so let's stay in touch and i'll see you in my next video bye guys stay safe